Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam YouTube channel video. I'm your host, Anthony Fasano, and in this video, I'm going to go over what a fire protection engineer or FPE is, the steps to becoming one, and how the FE exam is part of your pathway. If you're already familiar with what an FPE does, then skip ahead using the timestamps in the description of this video. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. A fire protection engineer or FPE is a specialized engineering professional who focuses on designing systems and measures to prevent, control, and mitigate fire related risks in buildings, structures, and various environments. Fire protection engineers utilize their knowledge of fire science, engineering principles, and applicable codes and standards to develop effective fire protection strategies. Their responsibilities may include designing fire detection and alarm systems. Fire protection engineers design and specify the appropriate fire detection and alarm systems, including smoke detectors, heat detectors, sprinkler systems, and other fire suppression equipment. Developing fire suppression systems. Fire protection engineers design and evaluate fire suppression systems, such as sprinkler systems, foam systems, gas-based suppression systems, and water mist systems to extinguish fires effectively. Conducting fire risk assessments. Fire protection engineers assess the fire risks associated with different structures and environments. They identify potential hazards, evaluate the impact of fire on structures and occupants, and recommend appropriate fire protection measures. Analyzing fire behavior and modeling. Using computational tools and fire modeling techniques, fire protection engineers analyze fire behavior and predict the spread of fires in various scenarios. This helps in designing effective fire protection strategies and evacuation plans. Reviewing building designs for fire safety compliance. Fire protection engineers review architectural and engineering plans to ensure compliance with fire safety codes and standards. They provide recommendations to architects and designers to enhance fire safety measures. Conducting fire investigations. In the event of a fire incident, fire protection engineers may be involved in investigating the cause of the fire, analyzing fire dynamics, and identifying opportunities for improvements in fire safety measures. I bet you didn't realize how many different things fire protection engineers can do. Overall, fire protection engineers play a critical role in safeguarding lives, protecting property, and minimizing the risks associated with fire incidents. Their work involves a combination of engineering principles, fire science, and an understanding of applicable regulations to create safer environments. Now, one of my viewers has asked about the requirements for becoming a professional engineer in the field of fire protection. Specifically, they wanted to know if they still need to take the fundamentals of engineering or the FE exam with their four years of experience. Now, to answer that question, you need to know that while the FE exam is not specific to any particular engineering discipline, it does cover essential engineering principles that are relevant to all disciplines, including fire protection engineering. This exam ensures that engineers have a solid foundation of engineering knowledge before advancing to the PE exam. To become a licensed fire protection engineer, obtaining a professional engineering license is mandatory, 
which starts by first getting your FE license or passing your FE exam. Passing the PE exam demonstrates that you're proficient as an engineer and it opens up so many more opportunities in your career. That's why we created this channel. In most cases, regardless of your experience, passing the FE exam is a requirement for obtaining a PE license. The FE exam is designed to assess your understanding of fundamental engineering principles, regardless of your specific discipline. It ensures that all licensed engineers possess a solid foundation of knowledge. It also allows you to demonstrate your understanding of fundamental engineering concepts and establishes a very strong technical base for you in your engineering career, which I can tell you from my experience is critical. However, it is essential to research the requirements specific to the state where you intend to strive for your PE license. Some U.S. states may offer exemptions or alternative paths for individuals with extensive professional experience. These exemptions often require a thorough evaluation of your work history and a demonstration of your competence in certain engineering principles. To get accurate information regarding your specific situation, I highly recommend reaching out to the licensing board in the state where you plan to obtain your PE license. They can provide you with the most up-to-date and precise guidance based on your experience and the specific regulations of that state. Additionally, maintaining your license requires continuing education that you can get by attending advanced classes and workshops throughout your career. This ensures that you stay up to date with the latest advancements in fire protection engineering and maintain your expertise in the field specific to the trends of today. In conclusion, while you may have valuable experience in fire protection, it is still recommended to take the FE exam to establish a strong foundation of engineering knowledge. The FE and PE exams both play vital roles in becoming a licensed fire protection engineer as they will help you to demonstrate competency and expertise in the field. So keep studying, but also gain practical experience and work towards obtaining your professional engineering license. I wish you the best in your journey to become a fire protection engineer. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly so please be sure to subscribe to our channel here so you can get these expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video that I will read and respond to, maybe in future videos. Is there a specific topic that you want me to cover or a question you need answered? Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.